Hello coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the 1964 United States one cent coins. We're going to focus on the 1964D, which you see right here. But before we get to the 1964D uh, or Denver Mint coin, let's take a look at this coin here because this is the one that all the hullabaloo is about. The 1964 Philadelphia coin. And the Philadelphia coin, of course, doesn't have anything below the date. So you can see the D underneath the Denver Mint uh, one cent coin, but the Philadelphia Mint did not put a P on their coins in 1964, so there's no letter here. The 1964 Philadelphia Mint uh, produced a few of what was called SMS coins, or Special Mint Set coins. We know of about 22 that look somewhat like this, but actually quite different from this. So the 1964 um, it looked like they were going to start doing special mint sets in 1965. So they think that perhaps they did about 25 or maybe more of the 1964 SMSs. If you get an SMS, it's going to look a little different than this. It's going to be really stamped uh, very distinctly. Uh, it has a different coloring on it. And it shouldn't have been circulated because they kind of hid these coins. Some people think that the mint director um, kept all the coins and then when a coin dealer bought her set, um, he started releasing them. But we didn't actually know there was SMS or Special Mint Set 1964 Phillies until 1992 or 1993 when they first really identified them. This is what the, all of the coins will look like on the back, of course. It says United States of America, E Pluribus Unum at the top has a Lincoln Memorial and if you look way down in there you can see Lincoln's seated statue down in there. There's steps and shrubs here and then way over on the side we see an F and a G for Frank Gasparro who um, was the engraver of this coin and in fact if we look here sometimes on some of these coins that aren't too worn out we can see the engraver's initials on the front of the coin. Uh, that's not this one. There would be a VDB in there. We can see little bumps there, but let's see if we can find the VDB on one of the other coins. For Victor David Brenner, who first um, did this engraving uh, for the 1909 coin. Now, some of you think, well, the 1964, it's old enough. I mean, it's 56 years old. Uh, it should have some value. It doesn't have a huge value. It's probably worth about 8 to 10 cents in this state that, it, that, it, that we have right here. And that's because in 1964, the Denver Mint produced 3.8 billion of these, um, and the Philadelphia Mint produced 2.65 billion of these. So between the two of them, uh, there were 6.5 billion one-cent coins. So even though it's 56 years ago, there's still plenty of them around. The Victor David Brenner, um, portrait actually started, as I said, in 1909. This is the 1958 coin. And this is again a Denver Mint. And those of you who collect a lot of pennies know that in 1958 they switched away from the, 1959 they switched away from the Wheat Ears scent to the Lincoln Memorial scent. So let's look at the two of them. So this is the last of the, the so-called Wheat Ears scents. And you can see these ears of wheat. And ears of wheat, it doesn't mean they're, they're like ears on a head. It's, uh, it's a term used for the way that the grain comes. Sometimes they call it an ear of corn that you eat. So if you get corn, it's called an ear of corn. These are called ears of wheat. And essentially, it's the grain part of the wheat plant. It says E Pluribus Unum at the top, one cent in the center, United States of America down here. This is a fully copper coin. In 19... 59 and on, they went to this coin, which is a copper and zinc mix coin. Again, it says United States of America at the top rather than down here. E pluribus unum here rather than around the edge, and one cent here rather than in the center. Um, but when we go to the portrait on the front, we see that it is the same portrait. Now let's take a look at some of these 1964 uh, D coins. Ah, so look at that one. Now that's incredibly uh, defined right there. And the, notice that in 1964, look how good these D's are. We've looked at some of our um, dimes, nickels, and quarters. Uh, 
and even some of the half dollars and the D gets all smushed. For some reason the copper keeps its um, its uh, firmness much better and you don't often see these smushed um, dates or smushed letters on the pennies. And this is just a beauty. Look at the toning on this. So again, the Liberty there is kind of close to the edge. That's because the edges got worn down. We tip it up, we see it's um, a copper zinc mix, 95% copper 5% zinc. We get to the back and we can see the Frank Gasparo here, the FG much better. So there's the F and the G way over on the edge there. Let's see if we can see on any of these the Victor David Brenner initials. Again we see a little bit of a bump there but we don't really see it. Let's try another one. So what happens? Ah look at that. So see way way down in there just like on the edge is a V, a D, and a B. It looks on this one kind of like a bump, and I'm not sure if I can raise this up anymore so you can see it any better or not. There you go. So right in here, you see the V, the D, and the B. That's for Victor David Brenner. You often can't see this on these older coins. Let's look at another 64D and see if we can see anything on this one. If you get a, a mint set, you'll be able to see it. Ah, there. So it kind of glints in the light a little bit. There's a VDB. You wouldn't know it was there and you wouldn't be able to read it unless you knew that it was his initials that were in there. All right, and this one you can't really see it at all. So here's our 1964Ds, but look how fine the print is on these. And notice that some of these, uh, see how this edge got smushed down a little bit and, and the letters got kind of crushed a little bit or a little wider. So let's look at the the letters on this one versus the letters on this one. So these ones look like they have wider letters. Um, the we is kind of smashed, but that's not a mint issue uh, or a mint error. That's something that happened afterwards as these kind of got um, uh, squished down. They got used. You see the Liberty on this one has space between the edge of the L. This one it touches again. Uh, that's from use not from any kind of error. So a lot of times people look at these pennies or one cent coins and say, geez, I got I got one that where it's touching the edge and it's offset, whatever. This is not offset. This is just a well-used coin. And this is uh, the difference here between the L's and the spacing in there is simply because this coin didn't get used as much as this one. All right, well, that's pretty much all we have for the 1964 Lincoln one cent coins, the Denver Mint. Oh, this is a little, sometimes you get these ones with a little green on them. Because it had the copper in it, it's a copper zinc mix, I know, but the copper sometimes, the zinc kind of gets worn a little bit and the copper comes through. And you know if you've had a roof or any kind of copper gutters um, uh, that you, or sometimes you see these on some of the, the older buildings, um, copper will green as it gets exposed to air and moisture. And that's what's happening on this one. So if you get one with a little green on it, that's not an air either. It's just the coin has started to um, not, it's not really, we don't call it rust with copper, but essentially it's a interaction with air and water that changes the, some copper to green. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coinwell International Coin Channel. We're hoping you have a great day um, and look for these coins. And all of these 1964 coins, we were able to get these uh, in penny rolls from our bank. And also we got this 1959 uh, the original year of the Lincoln Memorial Cent. And then once in a great while, you'll get one of these wheat ear coins from uh, just in your change and or in a roll from a bank. And these are great to collect. But again, none of these coins here that you've seen today are worth over uh, 15 cents in the shape that these are in. There are some special mint set 1964s, but they are few and far between, but it's fun to kind of look for them in your change. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.